Cancer runs in my family. Do I have a better chance of getting cancer if it's on my maternal versus paternal side? Is it true that I have a higher chance of getting breast cancer or another cancer because my dad died from it? If the gene is coming from the dad's side or mom's side, the risk of developing um, cancers, especially breast or ovarian or pancreatic cancers are the same. It doesn't matter if it's from the dad's side or mom's side. But just because you have a well, family history of cancer, that doesn't mean that you carry this gene. It's a very well-defined group of um, uh, patients carry this gene. So about 5 to 10 percent of breast cancers are due to an abnormal gene. Um, so majority means 90 percent of breast cancers are not due to an abnormal gene that's due to multiple factors, including diet, uh, hormonal factors, the age of a patient. So just because somebody has um, cancers in their family, that doesn't mean that they are an increased risk for uh, um, developing breast cancer. So when we talk about this 5 to 10 percent of patients who carry an abnormal gene, we identify, um, identify them by discussing their family history in detail. So when we talk about strong family history, we talk about multiple family members under the age of 50 with breast cancer, or multiple family members with ovarian cancer, or multiple family members with pancreatic cancer. So we are talking about very specific cancers and happening at, at a, an early age. Or if you let's just say if your dad had breast cancer or pancreatic cancer, so that increases the risk for carrying these genes, so-called BRCA1 and BRCA2. And then we do a specific blood test, and that will explain you know, if that person has a particular gene or not.